What's up, guys? This is the Brofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So, to pick up where we left off, we have begun our war uh, against the Ottoman Empire, and we're going to take the city of Naroon, which is sat behind our lines. And as we can see, there is a majority component of the of the enemy forces is made up of depleted dervish units, with a couple of auxiliaries and a few regular units in reinforcement. But I don't think this will be too much of a difficulty for us. We can take Naroon, then we can fully incorporate it into our kingdom. And then this force can be refitted and reinforced and sent up towards the front line because not only do we have the Ottoman Empire to break through, we have to be ready to immediately respond to uh, threats from the Russian Empire and Prussia, especially we might have to compete with them against to take Ankara. Um, okay, so... Let's get all my guns back. What I'm going to want to do is bear in mind we have the we have the musket we have the range advantage so we would be silly to pass that up at least for a bit so let's spread out some musketeers with some gun units I've not deployed any any of these units because we are going to advance forward a bit these two units go out on the extreme right flank. Dot my melee units around, ready to counter charge when the need arises. So we've actually got quite a decent bit of cavalry here. Got some camel nomads and my Kizil Bashi will be paired together, because then that way they're a bit more complementary to each other. And then the Sipahi which are some very, well, I think they're probably identical to what you get in the Ottoman campaign. Yeah, they're a good-looking infantry, lance cavalry, they're armoured to hell, and they're going to have a good time. So, uh, enemy guns may, especially mortars actually, may cause us to... Oh, I did end number a pair. Okay, I'm too old to be honest, because they've got mortars. New men... May as well form the guns up and then unlimber. Advance semi aggressively. That's my Kizzle Bashi. Push them up front pretty rapidly. There we go. Bashi. Push up to the front. But yeah, ultimately, I may as well just make my. Making my guns fire over the heads of my infantry. Because we do need to close the distance to the enemy, lest we get pulverised by mortar fire. And it works quite well, because obviously their incentive is to make us close range, and then they can use their uh, melee troops to their fullest advantage. This camel gunner unit is going to be engaging our musket troops out of range. That's not going to go massively well for them. On my camel nomads, my kids are bashing ready to prosecute that armed populace unit on the flank. When you man reload, fire another volley, please. Oh, they, got, they got disrupted somehow. Oh, they got dis disrupted because those units are breaking. Let everyone engage as they please. My Kizobashi can fire at will. They're engaging dervishes in the open. Sipahi can slam into some of these units on the flank. Just stay ready with my melee troops to counter charge. Kizobashi charge the dervishes. Camel nomads hit the firelock on populace. Pivot my guards. And wherever they break, wherever they hit my line, counter charge with Sikh warriors. Because now we're in the new mode. As soon as they hit my line, let's go on the offensive. There we go, finally. Push, you men smash into that unit of dervish, they're just sat doing nothing. Hindu warriors form up ready. I've got my Sikh warriors in here, so I'm not worried about this combat at all. 
do, which is where we moan down, and then we can get on to supporting my Sapahi, who are engaging more dervishes. These troops here continue to engage. My gunners just keep bombarding. Actually, no, don't bombard their mortar positions. My Kizobashi has a line on the mortar units. Infantry guards push up. With some Islamic swords and, my der and some dervishes on the flank. Hindu musketeers. Seek warriors, get in. Oh, you should not really be fighting the general's bodyguard, but you're gonna. Back up with the, he backed up with the Hindu warriors as well. They've broken quite dramatically. These dervishes are not long for this world. So I seek warriors push on into this cluster of troops here. Israeli have deployed. Charge my Kizabash to the back of the general's bodyguard. My intention is to use these in, these melee units to help defeat the Israeli. But I, but I might actually use my get my gunners deployed. You're a bit close to the front. To deploy in such a way. Kizabashi charging the general's bodyguard in the rear. General's been killed. Push on. Oh, they've all broken. Camel nomads charge in. Yeah, they broke from artillery fire and musket fire from my uh, Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Yeah, it looks like if these dervishes break. My Indian infantry guards are going to try and make them do. In just a second, sneeze incoming. Pardon me. Um, but yeah, it looks like any more forces broken on all fronts. And that is Nerun secured with fairly minimal loss of life on our side. 665 men lost. So that's Nerun secured. We can repair the state house. First priority, repair my troops. Kolachi, let's get you to a trade port. You're a kind of good Islamic or Islamic uh, people, but I think I can probably get away with building two craft workshops. Then we'll also get some roads built because you haven't even got the basic roads. So you're waiting for more ships just take the two good so you men fall back so we've secured the east indies you've secured the straits of madagascar although the barbary states are there let's use this big fleet just to knock them out they're gonna be lots of yeah galleys and jebex anyway bring some of their ships into the fleet So some of these smaller ships pick up a trade spot. You men sail towards. That's frustrating. I can't get into the area. I can't see them. Let's hedge our bets and say they'll go for this fleet because they're the weaker one. In which case, this top tier fleet get to East Africa, ready to replace them next turn. Got this fleet here, that's quite a good mixed fleet. They're probably going to come up here to, well, to be honest, they're not even going to be really be needed to blockade Baghdad because it's about to fall to us immediately. Let's make sure these agents have orders. You get, I'll try to get eyes on Istanbul. You infiltrate Ankara. Ankara's got some rebellion problems, so hopefully we can make that a, a bit worse for them. But yeah, as soon as we take these territories, we start to be exposed to the Prussians here in the Med. So whatever we take here, uh, we'll attack here as a dockyard, as a naval hospital. 
Well, no, it's a dockyard. It's just a dockyard, but it will be useful to help build navies in the med when we have zero access. Then Esfahan here, we're building Isareli, which are good troops to build. But we are going to want to keep backing that up with armies built in India. So in terms of tech, we're going to get uh, land drainage. Isn't that land drainage? Advanced irrigations. Ah, that's the next one, the steampunk land drainage. We're to get advanced irrigation, which will give us some good pop growth and good extra wealth generated by farms, and there's lots of farms in India, which is good. And we're also going to get carronades, which will give us a carronade frigate, which again is handy, but ultimately we probably want to be pushing down more like the improved coppering and the preserved foods because they at least benefit things that we've already got in the fleet and quick lime is not super useful because only use we only really get it in mysore with mortar units and mortar units suck okay you as a fleet of ships can sail to east africa ready to replace the jebex and there's actually a free trade zone we can occupy apart from that though let's get these guys under control Sail the arm, march the army up. Ah, the bill's about to fall. Yerevan's very exposed. Baghdad is going to fall. Oh. Yeah, let's keep cracking. Oh, yeah, my imams are still advancing forward. Uh, I'm not that interested in trading tech, especially as my tracks techs like free trade doctrine and citizenship are much better than selective breeding. We'll try trade, but that didn't work. You want to see drill? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you sea drill. I mean, I'm not so bothered by the military access, but it could be useful. But we also get a grand in hand. Which is nothing to be sniffed at. Hmm. I would, I'd like the European powers to begin fighting with each other a bit more with a bit more oomph, a bit more gusto. The Ottomans are scrambling, send troops everywhere, because they are well aware of the fact that we... Oh yeah, we're also pushing in South America, but we can't really move, because we've got the same problems around uh, religious... I mean, I'm not... Oh, I don't want to fight that. <laughs> I didn't want to fight that, because I didn't, I didn't want to fight it properly, and I didn't want to auto-resolve it either, not with so many armies nearby. Back, Sweden. I should have spread those Jebex out to occupy more zones. Oh, well, we live and learn. Sweden won't be long for this world either. Cause actually, it looks like... Because I thought it was Prussia, but actually I th it, the colour's slightly different. It looks like... There it is. Norway. An independent Norway. Let's try and engage them in diplomacy. <laughs> My ships, I'll definitely win that. <laughs> Ah, oh, pirates. The best bit is when we push across the North African plains, you're actually not going to hate us too much. I mean, they'll still hate us. Right, so you... Just knock them out. You sail back to India, so now you're the new high-powered guard fleet. So you're Sweden, you are Genoa, that's both okay for now. So you go occupy this spot. Good. So that's two zones that are pretty secure. It looks like one of these was the Ottomans. We're going to leave them for now. Good. So you've marched up to the front, get to a port. Let's recruit Sloop and we can begin to shuffle. You need to stay there, sadly, because... Mysore is ripe for rebellion. Uh, should have done. Get the sloop built, sail up to Kalachi. So in Naroon, upgrade the Subedar's palace, upgrade the farm, upgrade the roads. Got a serious chunk of change that we need to spend. Yeah, I'm not so bothered about the military buildings at the minute. Uh, but yes, in the Americas, which kind of got sidelined in the, thanks to the Ottoman War. Let's just keep growing our influence. The problem is Paramaribo got a lot of religious unrest. 
And until we can get one of our agents across, which is currently in Port Royal. Make sure you're all up together as well. Which you are. Okay, good. Yeah, Cairns are only real uh, potential target. I think I may as well start to build... get some troops to act as a bit of a garrison hopefully so i can advance out and take Cayenne, which would be good but the main threat is still europe so put baghdad under siege for now you men can get up close and you're out of range of this i mean I, i'm loath to do it but i can't i don't want to waste the time waste the time in the episode fighting a battle like that. So you men advance to secure the far bank of the river. We are going to fight that. I'm just going to make sure that I'm not neglecting other responsibilities. Native Lancers, Sipahi, we need to recruit. Not so super bothered about artillery. 11 spaces we've got. Pike can be handy, but we've maxed out those. Ultimately, are we going to start reaching a point where I'm sending, co you know, random columns of troops up to the front and then making my making things up as I go? Or it's probably best I just re just may as well just recruit armies down here in central India and then send them up when the army is complete. So let's give two artillery pieces. I don't, want, I don't really want mortars, I want uh, I want uh, rockets when they're available. There we go, 12,000. We've got, we've done both of these fleet arrives markers. But what we're going to do is take Mr. Ashok Sahai, uh, Sahai with his army that's actually, it's, it's unbloodied. Unlike Mr. Kodali's force is very experienced. Same with Mr. Sanghavi. This is a new army. No! <laughs> Stupid thing. Alright. Uh, lots of this army is very depleted. To be honest, we could probably try and demand a surrender, but I'm not going to let them have a chance to escape. We're going to push and we're going to just destroy them. Take the city for our own and then actually we probably also need to push in the northeast secure those frontier territories against non-friendly nations like dagestan and georgia but apart from that though our position is looking pretty good but we need to maintain our military growth we've at, we're at a point where we, well, we're not yet at a point where i can prosecute two full military campaigns uh we need to pick one and focus on it so my guns are going to be on the high ground to the rear bombarding over our heads There. My a good a significant portion of my melee force is going to secure the town. My ranged troops are going to secure the left. Lance Cavra on the flank, Kizilbashi on the right. Dervish is supporting the main line. General supporting the main line. Let's do it. Not quite sure where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from, though. But let's get quite a nice line. Got my melee troops march through the town. Secure it and get ready to push the enemy flank. It's the enemy cavalry is on the march. Be ready for them because we've got a good chunk of our cavalry. Our, of our uh, army is not best suited to respond to cavalry attacks. Here 
bit. So really, hand, wa hand water is a good fun. Very dangerous. We can't stand up to repeated gunfire. Run these men up into formation, ready to return fire. To be honest, I might just put officer goes pistol out. There we go. Volley. They're not gonna fire a volley in time. Fill out the gap. They may well return. They've not lost that many men. General's bodyguards lost some troops. Well, lost and um, two elephants, probably to um, artillery fire. Yeah, we can curl the left flank around. Be a bit more adventurous with our cavalry. Carcass shot coming out from the howitzers. Janissaries are holding their flank. Okay, I think now. Hey, that actually worked. So, send you this party to take out those semini just to prevent them from disrupting our line. Push up these two units because we're going to engage the head of their column as they advance through the buildings. Lots of my melee troops are they're making good progress still through the town. Handful of riskers of souls. Fantastic amount of support there. Enemy Sipahi withdraw. The enemy are pushing. Who have they sent up first? Unit of Felina up front. My firing position is pretty bad because I'm on the reverse slope of the hill. Send two units to fight on the left flank against that Felaine unit, preventing them from turning our flank. Although, Kizabashi Hindu Musketeers. Okay, we've got one unit that can form a square. Okay, get my, my troops to push in. I think the enemy reinforcements coming in on that right flank. All my artillery open up on the first order. The cavalry can one unit push up here. You native lance unit get ready to try and support the left wing. Warriors lose heart when they've only lost nine men. Ridiculous. They'll be back. Push my melee troops in. See, they're already back. The risk of souls have hit our line. Plus, camels. That could be a bit dangerous. Bring my general over. All my gunners engaged. The Janus Musketeers on the left. Oh no, they're out of range. Keep bombarding this garrison Sorelli unit in the centre. You men pivot and advance. Okay, Gurkhas are pushing up. Ceasefire the guns. 
Sea Warriors charge in the back of my own, towards my own line. Cavalry after the guns. Actually, by Zooks. Actually, my native lancers smack into the Janissary Musketeers. My infantry cease the musket fire and charge, ready to give them some support once battle has been joined. So Janissaries are good units. It says the enemy reinforcements coming in. So let's take some of our units to just run to form a new position. Castle here. Yeah, there we go. We've taken out that infantry. All right. Okay. T-Man are doing a real number onto the raw, this unit of raw pirate infantry guards, but again, that's heavy infantry in your light cavalry, so yeah, go can just turn around and give them some cover. So power here would be real useful about now. That's wood and lances. Go for the Mamelukes on the flank. If you can kill them, I'll free up more infantry. There we go, the Royal, Royal Cairo Infantry Guards have suddenly started to work out that things ain't going to be quite so good. Second band Janissaries, Armenian Archers and Mortars. To be honest, just push into them. There you go, Sipahi. Let's see how much damage they do to my... Hindu Musketeers. 255. See, you lose a good chunk. Cost about 10, 15 ish guys in that charge. Fundamentally, this reinforcing army was already doomed from the get go. Oh, my guns are no longer firing. These Mamelukes are going down. The enemy reinforcements, if you can call them that, are also on their way down. And these second band janissaries, janissaries are pretty cool, because they're like a special melee unit. But can't stand against the massive Hindus. There we go. I believe that's the enemy force obliterated. Yes. So that's Baghdad secure. Now we need to hold it. So next turn, I'm probably going to want to build defenses. Certainly not this turn. I need to uh, rebuild and replenish and destroy where possible. So there's a college, and we've got one down here. Get rid of both of them. Should. Well, there's no religious unrest anyway because they're already damaged. Human repair. Okay, so let's get a sloop there. This navy can leave here. Build a sloop and then sail this fleet to West Africa. Let's see what's going on over there. Otherwise, what I want to do is take this army that's in good stead, advance them up the road to try and cover one of the bridges and then you that are actually you're a bit knackered but what's quite what would be good is if you can cover this bridge on the road to Syria I can't agree better roads you can demand the surrender of Ardabil with no loss and you push on you might push on to Yerevan Push my agent up towards Dagestan. You don't need three coffee houses. That 
That's a bit silly. Yeah, if you men can take Yerevan, that'd be great. Uh, let's upgrade. Oh, the roads are being upgraded. Let's upgrade your ironworks. See you march on towards Cairo, I suppose. Enemy threat up ahead of us, but that's not anything to worry about. There we go. You've infiltrated Ankara. We've secured all these trade zones. Got 1,300 left to spend. Uh, farmlands. One way of spending it. Unfortunately, this is an agent that generates or that supports our religion, so they're doing the work for us. Hopefully the farm should help reduce these food shortages. Good stuff. More troops recruited in Persia. Let's get... Uh, screw it. Let's get one mortar. So now, Patna, you finished advanced irrigation. You've gone selective breeding. I'm going to overrule that, potentially, and say go for steam engine, because that's a massively valuable tech. And Royal Pindi, you carry on with the naval techs for now. Good. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, Lahore's another region which, because I've got my schools, they've currently got a lot of uh, religious unrest, so I'm looking forward to freeing the slaves and gaining some really good uh, positive public order gains from that. Yeah, they got to fight off the rebels. So they're going to abandon Yerevan, so hopefully what that means is I can move my garrison from uh, from Baghdad north and try and fight them. That would be quite useful. Russian ships on the way because yeah we are going to soon have a front line with Russia well a pseudo front line if either Georgia or Dagestan attacks us oh Georgian rebels interesting very interesting Sixty-three thousand. Another thuggy. Okay, I don't need this many. I guess I probably want thuggies. Like, just give them a long walk all the way into Europe. So, can I leave Baghdad without making everyone hate me? I can. So you. Attack and destroy these raiders to the north, which are just archers and riskers of souls. See, men replenish, let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. Upgrade the coffee house, because we are going to be adding some unhappiness due to industrialization. But apart from that, yeah, let's build some, build some walls, repair the plantation. Demand the surrender of Yerevan. Eh, why not? Let's take this city. Then that's the Caucasus front line dealt with. And the question is, do I build... Well, I realistically, I'll probably build some garrison armies to hold these territories against the Genoans... Well, the Genoans, Genoans. The Georgians and Dagestan, so I can have my proper fighting armies concentrated westward. Right, let's do something a little bit odd. Melee troops, you are my front line. Everyone else is going to provide the bulk. Group my cavalry up on the right flank. Got some Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. I imagine the models are... Slightly different. So these guys have like a, a. Oh no, that's a particular. Okay, right. No, they're not different. I just happened to pick the one unit in the Royal Indian Cavalry Guard that's got a different uh, armor type because the rest 
Yeah, they do bounce around armor types. Disregard. Okay, melee troops. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack pattern alpha. Do what you like against us. Oh, they're not my Gurkhas. Good, they didn't kill a single Gurkha. All my heavy cavalry smack into that firelock arm populace. There are archers around here somewhere. Charging uphill, but they're a very weak unit. Indy Musketeers, go get him. We'll have to show yourself. You can't keep fighting with so few men. Okay, right, all this infantry. Try to push out the rear. Oh no, they just go straight ahead anyway. general idea though. There they are. <laughs> Cease fire the guns because it's a lot of friendly fire. So they've exposed some of their hidden units to the rear. How many have they not? There we go. Melee infantry up front. Sipahi, drop those lances. Oh, a nice downhill charge here. Straight into a bunch of squishy auxiliary troops. Yeah, they're not going to survive very long. Indian cavalry guards charge into the rear. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Needless slaughter, Ottomans. Needless, needless slaughter. This very well could have been a more peaceful transition of power. We bring enlightenment to your country. We also bring Islam. So let's get our madrasas built up because we can expect religious unrest, which isn't, isn't too much of a problem because they're currently already spreading it, spreading Islam in our territories. Well, in, in previously... Oh no, sorry, they're spreading it. The Ottomans are spreading it in their former territory. But now we will take over. So... Dagestan trade. Let's send give you a fine Mysorian stallion. Ah, they're not gonna trade with us. What about Georgia? You will get a gift of finest Mysorian jewelry. Will you trade with us? They demand to be in a military alliance. Ally with dagger. <sighs> and they're en enemies with Prussia. Oh, very well. Dagestan. Crest trade agreement. Oh, so we're enemies with one of their allies. With their. Okay, right. It's because they're allied with Prussia and. They're allied with Prussia and we're enemies with Prussia. 
Let's see if I can... Oh no, it's not pressure. Who is it then? Is it... Dagestan, Dagestan, Dagestan. Prussia, Russia and Georgia. Well, I'm not at war with any of them. I'm confused. It says, can I ally with an uh, enemy of your allies? So I'm allied with... Oh, are they at war with... They're at war with Spain. So I can't make peace with them. Ooh. Do I make it... Okay, right. Cancel the alliance with Spain. No! Alliance trade, and I'll give you five grand. No. I was hoping to try and create a bit of an alliance here. You know, forego my, my allies in the west to create a bit of a caliphate. But I think what would be good is if I can build up some fortifications in these two towns, build up some defensive armies, and then these two armies can continue to push into Ottoman territory. That would be most useful. As it is, we have an uneasy alliance here somewhat. We've got 8,000 to spend. Let's try... So the reason why I want to cover these initially, first of all, let's make sure you're moved on. So I want to cover these bridges, so in case there are any Ottoman armies on the way, we can intercept, because Baghdad is currently a teensy weensy bit exposed. Let's build some troops to defend her. There we go. Uh, nice. So we're earning some really good cash. Oh, to be honest, you yourself might make a good... Well, no, actually, you wouldn't. Okay, what I think I'm going to do... is recruit a new general. I'm pretty sure that's my new guy, but he's better, so he gets to lead the field army. You men are going to recruit... some Israeli... Two Feline, two Dervishes, some Feline Musketeers, and then they will occupy Ardabil. Then another army we raise will do the same for Yerevan. You come back to us for replenishment. Okay, so let's move Iskander out of the bay for replenishment or for repairs. Well, as many repairs as we can get. You men embark Sir. aboard ship. To be honest, your own is going to get dumped here. Are, are, sir. We're not going to be. We don't need to sell them over to the Americas yet. And you men can threaten Damascus through the desert. It's going to take some some time to get there threaten it you will we can potentially cut off any north south movement here as well you men once you're ready you're going to threaten Ankara from the east let's repair the smiths and let's hit in turn yeah my agents are on the way my reinforcements are on the way I'm pretty confident that no one's going to try and attack our island our peninsula, our continent, at least for now. Oh, they're bolstering the garrison at Damascus. They know we're coming. Their agents are abandoning the conversion of Yerevan. Very well. Russian ships... Redeploying to the Mediterranean. They are more than welcome to do so. 
it's funny actually the intern phase it's actually a bit difficult to pick out the differences between ottoman and uh mysorian positions on the map right don't care about the barbary states Cobbled roads. Upgrade the sloop, upgrade the port, get a new sloop, because you guys can then be redeployed to the front. Obviously none of our none of these zones are owned by our enemies. Very well. South America then. Let's upgrade this port to Global Trading Company. Let's go up to Yerevan. Upgrade you. Try and upgrade you to military. Well, I can't upgrade you to military governor's encampment. But I can build fortifications, if nothing else. Craft workshops will help support the construction of such infrastructure. Very well. And push up to threaten Ankara. Even secure the bridge to the north. Excellent. Could potentially try and draw in this force against us. Ultimately, when you guys advance to a better position, then this army will move southwest to join you. Keep the economy cracking. Over here in the Americas. How much more? Still minus 10. That's a lot. Becomes times 10, becomes minus 7. Oh, keep on recruiting. It's going to take a bit of time. Lots of good recruitment. You guys still have your orders. I know we have freed the slaves. So. Yeah, Moist was only just happy with me. Because this army of. This army is currently in there. But if you leave, you're marginally okay. You'll still get a bit worse. But you men. Okay, I can start to mess around with smaller garrisons now. Which means you fellows are also ready for deployment to the front. Let's see if I can get this sloop. I wonder if they'll run into each other. Probably will. Bonk. <laughs> Probably going to have more luck. Yeah, the roads up towards Ankara are much better than crossing the desert. So even though it will take them one, two, three, four turns to get here, they'll still get to that area. Well, actually, they'll get to here the same time this army gets to Damascus. Excellent, excellent. Four stars. Plus one happiness, plus one treasury, plus... Uh, that kind of wipes out his treasury bonus. Just four star basic. And I suspect most of these guys are probably. Especially like this guy. He's a musing cad with a mistress. He likes the navy though. <laughs> right. Eight thousand in the bank. What to do with it? Just spend it on the next things that we can. Yeah, when we get steam engines, that's going to really suck up our capital. But by God, is it going to be worth it? Okay. Boom! Good, I've got an agent up against the 
crossing towards Istanbul, so now we can get some understanding of what's going on there. There's my Gurkhas coming down from Srinagar. Yeah, there go the Dutch. Eventually they'll declare war on me, they just will. Unless, maybe, the situation in Europe is sufficiently unstable, they feel that they can't. Yeah, they're really digging in around Syria. Around Damascus, I should say, not Syria. Hmm. You can cross there, Prussia. You can cross right into Ankara. Although it will bring us back into war with them. I do not foresee that being a huge problem. The Greek Navy's on the move. Barbary States are going to be Barbary States like. And just raid the trade lanes, which is fine. Good. Right. 61,000, another... Okay, I need to stop getting thuggies recruited because I got just too many. Infiltrate Moscow. Agent recruited Imam. Okay, let's get you up to Naroon. Then let's take the Naroon garrison. They can, yeah, they can just about handle it, but it'll get better every turn. They're amber right now, but we will be able to manage that. Yes, you keep pushing north. You also push north. You push west. You wait one more turn. Trade route raided. Trade route raided. Scallywags. Keep the infrastructure growing here. Can you leave us now? Or can we leave you now? Minus nine becomes minus five. Maybe two more turns. Maybe. Other than that, we're hitting the we're hitting the point where I'm starting to not spend the money fast enough without without just resorting to building a bunch of military buildings or fortifications that I don't necessarily need. They do provide some bonuses, I think, in the research side. Because yeah, research points per turn for military tech, which might be a bit late for that. You men, what can you recruit from here? Desert warriors. Not super useful stuff. But you can still get up towards Ardabil. So you've got seven slots left and there's not a huge amount of interesting stuff we can do here. One, two, three... Let's get a Desert Warrior unit, may as well. Your Majesty. Cool. You're getting eyes on Cairo. You're getting eyes on Jerusalem. Not necessarily to infiltrate, but just stay near the city so I can see what they're doing, see what the garrison's like. Stuff like that. And as soon as we get access to steam, steam engine technology, my god. Factories everywhere. I'm going to have no money for a lot of turns and then have a lot of money for the rest of the turns. No, ooh, 55,000. I'd have to be crazy to turn that down. Yes. <laughs> Georgia, you can help me out. Yes, they are. So where will the hammer blow land? Trinidad. Very well. 
Bane wants an alliance, and to give them Georgia. And what if I just say no, no, no to any of that? <laughs> I'm not going to give you 44 grand. I just got a bunch of it for free. Well, not for free. They're two good technologies, I grant you. But uh, 55,000 buys you an awful lot of lollipops. Yeah, they're pulling back there, eh, mams? New Spain is still a potential target. Because you can fight them without... Well, actually, to be honest, France doesn't exist anymore and it's not only a game, so we can kind of try and take on the world. If we were so inclined, which we're not at the minute. Quebec really doesn't want their ports to be blockaded. Well, the true irony is it's probably not a super good fleet they're building right there. Lost trade with the United Provinces. Oh, boo-hoo. God, look at that. <laughs> More than 100,000 now. So they've landed an army here at San Jose de Orona. Actually, that's kind of a good idea because we can't redeploy you guys without losing a lot of troops. We're not losing a lot of troops without exposing... The uh, territories in South America, but that's why we have two armies. Minus three. How about you don't pay any tax? Don't pay any tax, and we recruit some natives to garrison the city while you men sail to Puerto de España. And because we can sail directly into the port, we have movement points and we can attack them. But I'm going to do some building and upgrades and so on first. That's so your recruiting. Get some militia units. Good, so now you men can also push towards the front line. There's an Ottoman army smack bang in front of us that we can destroy. You both of these armies can now push towards Damascus. Okay, you guys also push towards Damascus. This army is going to swing north, so be three heading towards Ankara and occupying this area. Three to push down into towards Cairo, then across the North African coastline as much as we can. Do you see any enemies? You see the United Provinces. There they are. Second rate ship of the line would be good to capture. But what I'm going to make sure I do is take. Uh, you can also. You can maybe. Okay, let's maybe keep one army here as a bit of a goalkeeper. Actually, let's check out my construction queue because once I once I end the episode, which I will do prior to attacking the oh, the uh, Dutch, I will lose lots of these handy dandy construction queues. Well, not that there's many of them. Cool, and we're also going to attack this Ottoman force here, but I want to make sure I don't forget this little fella. No, ooh, be very careful, okay, because you've got to... It wanted to it wanted to sail my ships around the coast and attack their fleet, which I don't want to do. I want to deploy my army. Can I not attack them? Alright then, garrison. Move out, you men move in. Then attack them. Haha, <laughs> the fools. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the, for the kickoff of yet more conflict with the United Provinces. Cheers everyone.